When discussing the topic of the greatest all-round players of all time, Willie Mays' name is almost always at the top or very near the top of the list. Throughout his 22-year Major League career, there seemed to be no shortage of ways in which the Say Hey Kid could take over a ball game. Willie Mays is the best ball player I have ever seen. You do play ball. It's Mays hitting and Mays fielding and Mays being the giant good luck charm. Your friend Leo DeRocher worries a little. The Giants win the pennant. You beat Mel Ock's record for extra base hits. And on the last day of your first full season, you're the batting champ of the National League. This is the fame you like. Willie Mays, one of the Giants. The team of McGraw, Christy Mathewson, Bill Terry. A member of Leo's team, riding beside an old pro, Captain Al Dark. But the big one is still to come. The Giants versus the Cleveland Indians in the World Series. I never thought in my wildest dream that he would make that sort of play. Vic hit the ball, but it was high. And I knew right away I was going to catch the ball. Work. Pounds the next pitch over Willie Mays' head. It may not stay in the park, but if it comes down inside the field, he's and got he it. Makes a miraculous catch as he stops a step short of the wall. Willie made a great catch. He turned around and made a great throw. His hat fell off. It was a great show. It did save several runs. It might have we might have won that ball game. I don't know. Because of the way that I caught the ball, the way I got rid of it. It was just, a, to me, an incredible catch. Now, if you've got a trademark at the plate, it might be those big hands on the bat. More likely, it's two words, say hey, stamped in bruises, on the pride of innumerable pitchers. Ask you how you do it, and you'll just growl. I don't know how, I just do it. The slow motion camera shows the rhythm and the power of the swing. But more than that, it shows the exact split second reaction, the marvelously clear signal between eye, brain, and body that makes a batting champion. But you're Willie Mays. All you do is hit them. The official score will do all the figuring that you're interested in. What you like is the social life of the ballpark, making the bat boy hop and shooting the breeze with Monty Irvin, the left fielder. Before or after a big league game, you sometimes go out on the street where the kids choose up for stickball, and you still get a kick out of being chosen. At times, with all the publicity that comes from this, you worry about what kind of big leaguer people might think you are, swatting a rubber ball with a broomstick, kidding with the crowd. Still, there's a stubborn challenge in the game that overcomes the doubt, and you feel the thin stick sharpens up the batting eye. Besides, you know the time will come soon enough when you may not enjoy this so much, when your own growing personal life won't give you time to take an occasional drove of kids to the corner drugstore and stand on the corner after a game and tell them how it's done. Encourage them and be their friend, young Willie Mays. I think uh, from 55 on to about 58 or 57 right now, we were on a different movement. But I enjoy. I just had became, what you say, a star in the game, and that didn't bother me. I went out and played my game every day, and uh, I think I had good years, even though we, we finished maybe fourth or fifth. Uh, I enjoyed the game very much. By the time 1969 came to a close, there was no doubt that Willie Mays was one of the very best. Mays was probably the most spectacular player of his era. The one guy everybody agreed was uh, the first guy you would plunk down your money to go see play. I think when people pay their money to come to a ball game, you should try and put 110% into the game. And that's what I try to do every game. What he did in the 60s was become one of the game's most prolific power hitters. He went to the plate with an active swing. The Say Hey Kid led the league in home runs three times in the 60s and hit 52 of them the year he won his second MVP award in 65. Drive to deep left center field. This one's got a chance. It's gone. It's a home run. But for all his prowess at the plates, it was in the field where fans got to see the true acrobatic artistry of a man who won nine gold gloves in the decade. When the ball was hit out there, you didn't know he's going to catch, and the next thing you know, he's there. 
my father, he said, defense is the number one thing in baseball. So I said to myself, I would play defense better than I played offense. An all-star every year in the 60s, Mays and Aaron are the only men to hit over 300 with more than 350 home runs and 1,000 RBIs in the decade. People talk about how great William it was, but when you're watching every day, he was amazing. Anytime Mays was on the baseball field, it seemed there was a chance that something special could happen. And on September 22, 1969, it did. As play began that day, Mays was sitting on 599 career home runs. And though he wasn't in the starting lineup for the Giants-Padres game at Jack Murphy Stadium, in the seventh inning of a 2-2 contest, he pinch hit for George Foster. With a runner on and nobody out, Padre rookie Mike Corkins was on the mound when Mays made history. Way back, way back, tell it goodbye, number 600 for Willie Mays, and the bye-bye baby Bonanza. And the Giants come to home plate to greet him. Mays' milestone homer proved to be the game winner, and it put him alongside Babe Ruth as the only players at that time with 600 or more home runs. It would be Mays' final home run of that season. Ultimately, he'd retire at the end of the 1973 campaign with 660 career home runs. Although he was in the twilight of his career, Willie still showed signs of his marvelous past. But when he realized he was no longer better than everyone else, it was time for Say Hey to say so long. I hope that with my farewell tonight, you would understand what I'm going through right now. Something that I never feel that I would ever quit baseball. But as you know, it always come a time for someone to get out. And I look at the kids over here, the way they are playing, and the way they are fighting for themselves, tells me one thing. Willie, say goodbye to America. Thank you very much.